guys, I'm Sherry Kamaji today in Clash Royale. Welcome to the video, guys. Happy to have you here. I have another YouTuber on the channel today. It is Riley, an amazing YouTube channel. I love that he uploads his stuff in uh in vertical format as well, so it takes up the whole screen. What do you guys think about that? You think that's a cool way to do content? I, I do. A few newer content creators out there, or I say newer, like in quotations, they've been around for a while, but uh, have done that, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. You don't get the face cam, but you do get the full screen experience. Anyway. Anyway, a lot of people, Riley is currently number three in the world. A lot of people consider him the best bait player right now in the game. So I thought I would have him come on the channel and we review some replays uh, and just see, you know, what makes him so freaking good, right? We're going to get into the decision making process. I'm going to start out here against Eclipse watching from the POV of Riley. How you guys doing, by the way? Welcome to the channel. I'm doing pretty well. I just finished a, uh, what did I just finish? I just finished a book on like building a brand. It is called Superfan uh, by uh, Superfans by Pat Flynn, if you guys want to check that out. And right now I'm reading some true crime, The Cases That Haunt Us by John Douglas. So uh, yeah, if you're into true crime, go ahead and check that one out. I highly recommend it. And Superfans is nice if you're a uh, aspiring maybe content creator or business owner looking to, you know, build the brand essentially right around yourself so some really cool ideas there those are my book recommendations for you guys for the uh for the month here as we uh <laughs> as we wrap this month up already summer coming to an end or end of summer is here uh so anyway mighty minor going in on riley we're about a minute into this one I'm going to try a match with this deck too because it's super, super fun to play even though my Mighty Miner is pretty under level. Now, Mighty Miner is an important unit in this deck, but you can sub him out for either a Valkyrie or just a regular Knight as well. The old school tank in uh, or, or uh, you know, defensive ground unit in this deck is, of course, a Knight. Uh, so that does the trick. So, guys, here we go. It's going to be Cannon putting in work here for Riley on defense. Riley's so freaking good, so I just really want to zero in on his decision here. So he goes in with a Mighty Miner to protect the Princess. He also goes in with the Log. Now that Log's not going to hit the, uh, oh, maybe it did. Or was it the Log that hit the Princess or was it that Golden Knight? I'm not sure. I couldn't really tell. They both touched down at the same time. Either way, we're still about even in terms of Elixir. We know exactly what we're going against here. It's an XC NATO drill deck. Very interesting with the Royal Ghost in there as well. Uh, now we're sitting at full Elixir. We had the Princess selected. We're going to go ahead and use that Princess and it's going to force a three Elixir NATO out of the opponent. We we do get one shot on that right hand tower. We go again with the defensive uh, cannon and then force a response out of the opponent with that fire spear in the right hand lane. So here comes the rocket this time hitting the golden knight. We go right in with a goblin barrel there. So being a little bit more aggressive with the uh, rocket, of course, if we're, they provide us four elixir or more value in double elixir time, provided that you're not already facing a big elixir deficit, right? So here we go, princess, to snipe over that cannon there. We go in again with that Gobbo Barrel. We're going to get the Mighty Miner and the Goblin to the tower, at least force out a log at the very last second of the opponent. Nice chip damage, though, giving Riley the damage lead so far. We go in with another Goblin Barrel outcycling his log, but he does get back to the Tornado, and he does activate his King Tower. Not the end of the world, of course, we can, still can rocket cycle as we get into, you know, triple elixir time with this deck. That's one of the many reasons this deck is so freaking strong. So nice cannon placement there, gonna make sure we don't take any through damage from that executioner, but we do finish off that executioner, or at least the tower is gonna be able to do so before he engages with our right hand princess tower. Here we go again, it's gonna be a princess and a fire spirit right hand lane. A cannon up top, we go with a fire spirit and the log against that drill. Gold the knight does get to the cannon but far far away from our tower so the opponent does have that nato in cycle they pull those gobbos back one gobbo does get back to the tower one little stab we'll take it we'll take it princess cycled into right lane knowing the opponent can't really use the log on the princess here go ahead and play her on the weak side tower albeit okay now it's the weak side tower i was gonna say we really haven't taken much damage so now we're in sudden death overtime. We can start successfully rocketing, or excuse me, rocketing 
after a successful defense as long as, again, we're not facing a massive elixir deficit. So, so since Rocket's out of hand, the opponent is given the luxury of going with the Executioner next to the Crown Tower. And here they go. It's going to be a big push coming in. We're just going to keep cycling. We go in with the Goblin Barrel, forcing out a log on defense. We get the Mighty Miner on defense. Two cannons down, a log down as well. Skeleton is down, uh, distracting those Gobbos. Princess helping in from the weak side. We really didn't take much damage at all there, guys. And now look at the opponent's hand. They had nothing for that Goblin Barrel. Granted, nice job with the Skeletons and the Executioner. And again, we are on our heels here on defense. But, I mean, Riley has it under control, right? Almost said Ian. My bad. Riley, Indian. <laughs> so here we go. Rocket comes down, and boom. More damage. So it's Rocket Cycle time. A log's gonna go ahead and push that Executioner back as well. Cannon's still gonna distract. A log comes down for the opponent. There's 14 seconds left on the clock here. We go Skeletons. You see that Golden Knight, man? That dude was dashing all around the arena. That was crazy. But either way, another Rocket comes down, and that's gonna be GG. We go with that defensive cannon. There's nothing the opponent can do, and that's how frustrating this deck can be, guys. We can take it all the way to a tiebreaker. Still come out on top thanks to those Rockets and that Rocket Cycle and that really, really strong defense, right? All right, let's go into the next one here. We have against Manual. Against Manual. This time, we are, no, excuse me. This time again, we're watching from the point of view of Riley, currently third in the world. Let's see what he's got in store for us this time here. Going against a Witch Elite Barbarian deck? Is this Arena 5? <laughs> I don't even know if Witch and Elite Barbarians are available at Arena 5, but you guys get the, uh, is this mid ladder? Or is this top five in the world? I don't know. So, pretty cool, though. I like seeing different decks, right? So, he's got Skarmy Giant Graveyard with the Witch in there. Very. This is like the type of deck that you maybe underestimate a little bit, and then it comes and just absolutely wrecks you, right? So, nice job on the defensive end there. Nice job with the Mighty Miner, and that's what you're going to have to do sometimes is utilize that bomb or just switch lanes if you need a tank in the opposite lane. So, here we go. Always cycling that Fire Spirit, forcing a move out of the opponent. They immediately go with the Giant and the Graveyard. So, we go with the Mighty Miner, take care of that first, trying to get to that log, and we have the log in hand. We delay a second. We have a Princess setting up in the opposite lane as well, so we do take some pretty big damage there on the left-hand uh, lane, but we know exactly what they're playing. So, a arrows come down against that Princess. Garmy comes down against the Mighty Miner. Gonna go ahead and use that Mighty Miner ability along with the Goblin Barrel. So very, very nicely done there. The Fire Spear also touches down against those bats. So we're able to get all that damage and then some back. And we're gonna stay aggressive here with the Princess at the bridge. So they have the Witch in hand, force out an awkward Witch right there at the bridge. We can just log this back and we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Take a little bit of damage, who cares, right? Who cares? Uh, that was a lot, a lot of damage. That was a really nice fire spirit there to take care of those bats. And a uh, nice lane switch. So the kind of the last second there with the Mighty Miner, parlayed with the Goblin Barrel, taking care of the Skarmy, and then getting a lot of damage on that right-hand tower. Here comes the Goblin Barrel again. Elite Barbarians down. We get two Gobbos on that tower. Going to get a few stabs. Thank you very much. Taking it down to 807. Here comes the Graveyard by the opponent. We go in with the Cannon. We go in with the Mighty Miner again on defense. We have Log in hand. Nice job kiting those Elite Barbarians away. And we do take a little bit of bad damage, but again, utilizing the uh, special ability of the Mighty Miner. Now we're just equalizing the damage on our towers, so no big deal there. We'll take that. We notably don't go for the Rocket there against the Witch. Instead, we focus on that right-hand tower, throwing more barrels that way. So 489 remaining. Now we have a Giant and a Witch in the left. We have two Elite Barbarians in the right. It's going to be an interesting defense. Arrows come down by the opponent. We go with that Mighty Miner again. We go with a defensive Goblin Barrel for those uh, Elite Barbarians. More importantly, we get the, uh, you know, the cannon alive. We keep the cannon alive with that defensive goblin barrel. That way we can still continue to kite the giant. So here it comes. going to be a rocket down. There's only nine seconds left. We know, Riley knows, that he can basically kite anything with only ten seconds left on the clock. Letting him have it a little bit. And there it is. GG's again. Riley gets the job done. All right. Let's go into the next one here, guys. That was an interesting one. This one against Chris. Chris Lion. There we go. All right, so this time we get to see what it's like going against him in the mirror matchup. So this is the mirror matchup for Riley. See how he handles this one. So Princess at the bridge there against the Fire Spirit gets a shot off and then goes with the cannon on defense. We have Log in hand. He can't beat the world's best, or at least in the conversation. 
log bait player if you're a log bait player, right? The last thing person you want to go up against is going to be uh, Riley. So here we go. It's going to be Skelly's. And just going to go with a nice little uh, log there, the opponent. Testing him out with a Goblin Barrow. We have that Fire Spirit selected right now. Nice uh, Skeletons there. Anticipating maybe a Princess at the bridge or a Fire Spirit in the lane. They do go with that Princess. However, we're able to use our Princess against him. We go with a Mighty Miner. Then we go with a Goblin Barrel. I like this. I like this push here. Really making the opponents choose which lane they want to target. We go ahead. They go ahead and they, they force basically that Mighty Miner ability out of the opponent to kill that Princess. Otherwise, she would have stayed alive. So now the Mighty Miner dies. They go with another Princess right there at the bridge we go the princess on defense log comes down against the goblin barrel from the opponent or our log their goblin barrel there we go confusing when everything's the same right all right so here we go again it's gonna be a cannon on defense we do get those gobblers to the tower but nice blocks by the opponent we are holding on to the damage advantage however here about the midway point of this contest so nice job with that fire spirit beautifully done no damage from riley of course, if you place that Fire Spirit at the correct time, the correct position right behind your tower, you can totally uh, negate a Goblin Barrel. We go in there with the Princess at the bridge. The opponent was one step ahead of us there, going with the Mighty Miner on defense. They had forcing a cannon out of them as well. And we go again, just keep attacking here with the Goblin Barrel. Log comes down by the opponent. And here we go, guys, with five seconds left in single elixir time. Come on, Riley. All right. So Fire Spirit on Fire Spirit action here. And we cycle the skeletons in front of our tower. Again, trying to block the princess. Uh, thinking that he might go with a princess there where the cannon was. But he doesn't. We're going to go with a rocket there in the left. So rocket and then a goblin barrel. They don't go with the logs. We're going to get a few stabs there. That was nice log damage. And now we have that defensive cannon. We're going to be able to pull that uh, mighty miner in. We're going to go ahead and use that log there because we're able to defend without it so we can use it on the, uh, the princess and the mighty miner. So another princess is down by the opponent. Fire Spirit does not make contact. Uh, we switch lanes. That Mighty Miner was really, really well played there. You see that defensive Mighty Miner, guys? And the ability? That was a really nice play. That was a pro play right there. Using the defensive Mighty Miner against all of the Goblin Barrel in the splash they were throwing at us. Man, Riley is in control here, guys. All right, two, one, and zero. Crossing over to Sudden Death again. Princess at the bridge. Cannon's there to prevent that princess from making contact. Fire Spirits against the Goblin Barrel. So again, no more damage coming in. We go in with that rocket. Uh, they use the Mighty Miner ability. We go with Skeletons there, preventing most of the chip damage. We go with a Fire Spirit, but the uh, the Skeletons actually blocked it. So it all worked out there. We didn't take some uh, or any radius damage. We go the Princess of our own here. They go with Skeletons to distract the Mighty Miner. They attack with another goblin barrel this time we have log back and cycle and again here trying to keep our princess alive we go with the cannon to snipe his princess we have uh the five fire spirit back in hand for us <laughs> he goes ahead and he uses the ability basically into nothing we attack with another goblin barrel they have log and cycle we have double princess there in the left hand lane and then we go with the mighty miner to try to punish and to protect these princesses at the same time log comes down against their goblin barrel and we launch a goblin barrel of our own they do have log in hand but again we have one surviving princess there we immediately go in the fire spirit as well forcing out a money miner by the opponent so we are controlling the tempo of this match guys here we go triple elixir time golden barrel from the opponent we'll be back to log already again trying to get those money miners on the field as often as we possibly can to take advantage of the three card cycle to make sure we can keep up with the opponent who's playing obviously the same deck that we are so there goes the money miner for both players at the same time we go with that defensive cannon again getting so much value out of these defensive cans we go to the golden barrel on the golden barrel and actually works out again really able to mitigate most damage and a good game comes down and a rocket comes down really really well played they barely touched riley's tower and this is the top of ladder mirror matchup and that's how good riley is with bait man that's why they call him the best man that was insane that last match dude all right let me go ahead and uh i'm gonna copy the deck i want to play this deck man it has been a minute but i love this one and let's check this out guys check this out can upgrade our mighty miner all right all right, all right. So now we got the level 12, Mighty Miner. Now we're cooking here, guys. Let me collect some mastery points. Why not? Why not? Get some more gold, please. 
Uh, thank you guys who are using my creator code. I appreciate it. It was on Boost. Uh, I'm not sure if it still is. I think it just can't actually finished. So, you know, maybe support another content creator if you want to. But uh, there's a lot of them out there. I'm not sure if Riley has a creator code, but I will ask him and include it in the show notes if he does. It'd be cool to support my guest here on the channel. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into a ladder match. All right, I, I, feel, I feel pretty confident with the deck. We'll see. Against Gabo? All right, all right. So we have Goblin Barrel. Let's go in the safe spot here and... Uh, Let's just go ahead and go skeletons here. Might be playing uh, log bait as well. So another mirror matchup for you guys, potentially. He has log and ice spirit. We figure he probably is. Let's get ready for a princess. I'm just going to go with a defensive can't. Okay. He goes with a knight. I thought he might go princess of the bridge there. Oh, oh, look at this. I think we can probably... Oh, gosh. Okay. So maybe that can was not the best location, huh? 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 It's okay, though. Go skeletons here. Gonna go to Princess in the back. Mighty Miner, are you gonna be able to clean this up? Eh, kinda not really. Alright, so we take too much damage. We'll still win, guaranteed. Let's go to the Goblin Barrel here. Looks like he doesn't have NATO, so we're good. He has Fireball, he has Log. Hog Rider, didn't see that one coming. But uh, now we know. Knowing's half the battle. There we go. Okay, just gonna chill here. Probably go with the princess in the back. See if he wants to fireball it or, or what he wants to do here. I'm gonna go with the mighty miner to mirror the knight play. He is gonna fireball, that's cool with me. Oh, a little bit late there. Yeah, I can maybe knock that uh, back. Try to parlay with a Goblin Barrel again now that Log isn't in hand. Okay, get a little bit of chip damage there. Still have that surviving cannon, which is really nice too. Let's see if he just goes Musketeer to try to snipe it or what he wants to do here. Yep. Okay. Pretty easy defense there. Let's go with the Juke here. Oh, he uses... <laughs> Man, I wish I didn't go with the juke. Do I, I, One Gobbo gets through, guys. One Gobbo. It is noteworthy here that I actually haven't used the Mighty Miner ability yet. Okay, log. Let's go keep going more princesses. Go Goblin Barrel again. Gonna log here as well. Maybe get a little bit of damage against the... Gonna do this. Gonna do this. Gonna do this. Gonna do this. Let's get a... Oh, 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 bip, bip, bip. Hog Rider does get through and does get a hit. That was unfortunate. Let's go again with the Juke here. See if we can... Uh... Nope. Can't break through. All right, I wonder if it's time to start going for... Yep. He's probably going to rocket... I mean, uh, rocket. He's probably going to fireball that. And he does. Okay, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Got one gobbo through again, guys. All right, he's gonna probably musky this. Yep, he does. Works out, We're gonna log this, this, this. Okay, gonna keep attacking here. Keep trying to get this. Uh... Nah, I can't. Need to get more Mighty Miners on the board here. Gonna go with a high cannon to help out. Gonna go with a log. I haven't really been rocket cycling at all, but... Okay, that was a panic. <laughs> that was kind of a panic one. All right, it's gonna be rocket time. He's gonna try to rocket cycle me, you, you, you gotta figure. 
And we're going to be okay here, guys. All right, one second left, and there it goes. GG's. All right, guys, that was going to be the game. That's going to be a video. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. I appreciate you guys. Big shout out to Stats Royale, where you can check out my player stats and profile in Riley's as well. Give him a subscribe on YouTube. Check out his Twitter as well. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.